Well, in, intelligent design is the idea that there are certain features of living systems that are best explained by an intelligent cause rather than an undirected process, like Darwin's idea of natural selection acting on random variation. Intelligent design is not necessarily opposed to the idea of evolution. Evolution can mean several things. It can mean change over time, it can mean common ancestry, and it can mean that there was an undirected process that produced all the change that has occurred o over time. And typically the undirected process that's cited is natural selection acting on random mutations. Um, intelligent design is not challenging the idea of change over time, but it is challenging the idea that the change that has occurred over time is the result of purely undirected processes. And so, um, you know, intelligent design can be made compatible with certain definitions and, and ideas about evolution, but it is challenging the central idea of, of the neo-Darwinian approach to evolution, which is that things look designed, but they're not really because a purely undirected process is responsible for that appearance. My theory of intelligent design, the one I've developed in the signature in the cell, is, is, is uh, um, challenging another theory of evolution, which also invokes only undirected mechanisms, and that's the theory of chemical evolution. And what chemical evolution attempts to do is explain the origin of the first life and any appearances of design that might be resident in the, in the simplest single-celled organism. And I argue that, yes, there are uh, very impressive appearances of design inside the cell. The most impressive of all is the information-rich DNA molecule and the information processing system that's used in the cell to express that information. And I argue that uh, there are no undirected evolutionary processes that are sufficient to produce that based on what we know from having studied them. And yet there is a cause of that information-rich system of which we know, and that causes intelligence or mind. But there is a type of cause that we know can produce that key feature of, of life, and therefore um, that feature of life is best explained by intelligent design rather than an undirected process. So ID is not against evolution per se, but is against the idea of completely undirected evolution, an evolution that would deny the presence of actual design in living organisms as opposed to just the illusion of design, as Richard Dawkins and others would refer to it.